Yo, what's up guys? It's time for the annual Highly Wanted sneaker collection. The sneaker collection has changed a lot since last year. So I have a bunch of new shoes to actually show you guys. So let's get straight into it. So I'm gonna be getting it started with the shoes that I actually wear. First, we got these Jordan 1 Black Toes, which are probably my favorite shoes in my entire collection. I had these ones for a while. These are the first shoes that I bought with my YouTube money. Then we got these New Balance 550s, just the green and white ones. Nothing too crazy about these, but they're very comfortable. I also have these New Balances, but I'm actually gonna try to get rid of them. Next, we have the black off-white blazers. I'm a really big fan of the off-white stuff, and these are one of my favorite off-white shoes. Next, we got the Fire Red Jordan 4s. These ones are pretty nice as well. Next, we got the Playoff Jordan 9s. I know a lot of people actually aren't a fan of Jordan 9s, but next we have the Obsidian Jordan 1s. These are probably the shoes that I've owned for the longest. Next, we have the Jordan 11 Cool Grays. These are definitely one of my favorite shoes. Next, we have these Kyries that I actually play basketball in. These aren't too crazy. And finally, I have these Ultra Boosts. I've had these for a long time. And in case you guys are wondering how I'm actually able to get all of these shoes, most of them I actually got for really good deals. Like these, for example, these Jordan 9s, I got for only $40. And the rest of these I got all for pretty cheap. So next, I'm gonna be showing you guys my New Balance collection. So to start off the New Balance collection, we have these right here. They're just some New Balance 991s with Aim Leon Door, as you can see on the back. Next, we have some New Balance 550s. These are another one with Aim Leon Door. Next, we have another pair of these green New Balances that I showed you guys earlier. These ones are brand new though. Next, we have these brown New Balance 550s, again with Aim Leon Door. I'm actually a really big fan of these. I might keep these ones for myself because I really like how they look. But the UPS guy absolutely destroyed my box. I, don't, I really don't know what happened here. Then we have these purple Aim Leon Door 550s. And finally, we have these olive New Balance 550s. These ones are also pretty cool. And for the final pair of New Balances, we have these, which actually have a really cool box. And here's what the actual shoes look like. Honestly, I'm not really a fan of these, but they're interesting to say the least. So next, I'm gonna be getting into my Yeezy collection. First, we got the Yeezy 450s. These are one of the weirdest pairs of shoes I've ever owned. I don't really know what to say about these. I guess they are pretty cool. They're very unique. Next, we have a pair of the Yeezy slides. These ones are like extremely small though. Next, we have some of the 350s. I've actually gotten rid of a lot of my Yeezy 350s, but I still have a few pairs. We have these Beluga Reflective 350s. These ones are pretty cool. I believe these are like one of the OG ones that Adidas made. Then we got the Zebra 350s. These ones are also really nice in my opinion. I'm a big fan of these for sure. And for my final pair of Yeezys, these are also my most expensive shoe in my entire collection. We have these Yeezys right here. We have the Air Yeezy 2, the Solar Reds. These ones are extremely expensive, but I mean... I'm so happy that I was able to get them, especially for the price that I did. I got them for a really good price. Air Yeezy 2s. These are the most expensive ones that I have, but let me know what your favorite shoe in the collection is. It might be, for me, it might be between these or the black toes I showed you guys earlier. And that gives us the perfect transition to all of my Nike shoes. So first we have these, which are some Sakai Nikes, the Vapor Waffles, all black. Next we have the Kith X New York Knicks. Not gonna lie, these ones are pretty boring. There's not really too much going on here. Next we have these Nike Dunks, all blue. Honestly, some of these shoes I completely forget that I even have. After that, we have some Supreme Nike Blazers, all black with the snake skin on the side. Pretty fire, pretty fire, you know the vibes. After that, we have these Halloween Nike Dunks. These ones are pretty interesting. So we have the Supreme Air Force Ones. These ones are pretty nice as well, all white. And for my final pair of Nikes, we have these Dunks. These are the LeBron Fruity Pebbles Dunks. I think they're actually pretty cool, very unique shoes. Surprisingly, that's all I have for the Nike shoes, but we have everything else pretty much is all Jordans. So we'll get straight into the Jordans and see what we have. So we're gonna start with the Jordan 1s. First, we have these Taxi Jordan 1s, just yellow. These are really clean. I'm a big fan of these. Well, would you look at that? We have another pair of the same shoe. Another one. Then we got another two pairs of the Taxis. Next, we have these Hyper Royal Jordan 1s. These ones are also pretty cool, very unique. I'm a big fan of these, actually. Then we have these Jordan 1 Lows. I actually really like these a lot. They're like just black and blue Jordan 1 Lows. I'm a big fan of these. Remind me of the Travis Scott ones. We got another pair of them right here. Another one, another one. Then next, we have these Jordan 1 Lost and Founds. These ones are really nice, in my opinion. I mean, the Chicago Jordan 1s are always gonna be fire. And of course, we have 
another two pairs of those, so. Then, we have two pairs of these Ama Manier Jordan ones. These ones are really nice in my opinion, very clean, all white pretty much, with the little brown. And also the inside of the box is really cool too. Next, we have these Jordan 1 breads, the patent leather ones, pretty cool, pretty cool. Another one. Then we got these Lakers Jordan ones. These ones are pretty cool, but I'm not really a fan of them. Another one. Next, we have these Shadow Jordan ones, pretty cool as well. Another pair of these Shadows, Shadows, then we have these all white Jordan 1 lows. I actually really like these ones a lot. I think they look very nice. Core purple Jordan 1s. These ones are also really cool in my opinion. Very nice, very nice. And then another pair of the core purples as well. Next we have these Georgetown Jordan 1s. I honestly forgot that I even had these, but I actually like them. They're pretty nice. Then we got these pink bubblegum Jordan 1s. I actually like these. These are pretty interesting, pretty unique. Next we have these Jordan 1s. Pretty interesting. I'm actually not even sure what these ones are called, but we got them. These ones again. We got these Royal Jordan 1s. I don't know what the names of these are. Probably like Game Royals or something like that. Next we have these Volts Jordan 1s. These ones are pretty interesting actually. They kind of remind me of the Off-Whites with the tongue and stuff. And for the final pair of Jordan 1s, we have these. Pretty unique pair. Actually, very unique pair. We got the J Balvin's. These ones, very interesting Jordans. All rainbow color with a pink bottom. Very interesting. I would never wear these, but um, they are pretty cool. And they got Velcro on the side, so. Next, we have all of my Jordan 2s. First, we got these Ama Manier Jordan 2s. I actually really like these. I know a lot of people don't like Jordan 2s, but they're in my top three for Jordans. And these are one of my favorite colorways. And of course, we have more of those as well. Next, we have the Chicago Jordan 2s. These ones are really nice. Another one of my favorite colorways. And we got two pairs of these too. Next, we have, I believe, my second most expensive pair of shoes in the collection. We have the Off-White Jordan 2s, the Chicago colorway. Very nice pair of shoes, very unique as well. I mean, the Off-Whites are always pretty crazy and I really like these ones. Next, for our Jordan 3s, we have these Fire Red Jordan 3s. And I also have the White Cement Jordan 3s. I just don't have them with me right now. I'll throw a picture right here. Next, for Jordan 4s, we have two pairs of these Georgetown Jordan 4s. I love this colorway, it's super clean. Next, we have these Red Thunder Jordan 4s, another super clean colorway. I actually like Jordan 4s a lot, very nice. Oh, well, I guess I have three pairs of these then. All right, nice. Next, we have these UNC Jordan 4s. These remind me a lot of the Travis Scott Jordan 4s. These ones are very nice. I love all the like light blue Jordan shoes. G Willikers, we have the black and white Jordan 4s. G's Louise, we have two pairs of the Jordan 4 Unions. Extremely ugly in my opinion, but I have two pairs of them and they go for a lot of money, so I can't complain. Next, we have the Thunder Jordan 4s. Again, we have two pairs of these, very clean colorway. Raging Bull Jordan 5s, again, another shoe that I actually really like. Next, we have Jordan 6s. We have these UNC Jordan 6s, very clean in my opinion. Then, we have the Georgetown Jordan 6s, another pretty clean colorway. We have no Jordan 7s, 8s, 9s, or 10s. Next, we have three pairs of these white and red Jordan 11s. Next, we have the cool gray Jordan 11s. I literally have like eight pairs of these. I don't really know why, but they go for a lot, so. Next, we have like four pairs of these playoff Jordan 12s. I actually really like these a lot. We got the Jordan 12 taxis. And for the final shoe, we have these Ama Manier Jordan 12s. This is the last shoe in the entire collection. Well, I lied, there's actually a few more pairs. We have these Lightning McQueen Crocs. And then we have a bunch of just random pairs of shoes, probably like 10 pairs in there. Or just random shoes that I have. So I just calculated the value of all my shoes. Here it is. It's about $29,000. So round up to 30 for the title, you know me. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe. Peace.